Singapore's coral reefs are also in troubled waters. Research shows that the amount of sediment at reef sites here has gone up by as much as 30 percent. That's over the past 30 years. And this is leading to the disappearance of coral species and putting human health at risk. This mass coral spawning took place earlier this year. It's a sign of healthy reefs, even as coral bleaching happens more frequently as the waters heat up. But these murky depths warn of a growing threat. Underwater traps deployed over a year found about 15 times more sediment deposits on reefs here compared to those out in the oceans. They're stirred up by ship traffic and land development around the region, with the impact amplified by monsoon patterns and a tropical climate that promotes erosion. This is stifling coral reefs. The maximum depth range that corals can grow uh, is restricted to these very shallow waters of around 7 to 10 metres depth. So below this depth, the light conditions are sort of insufficient for coral growth. Without sediments, corals can typically grow to sort of well below 30 metres in depth. Today, about 130 coral species are spotted here every year, just half the numbers recorded in Singapore's waters. The last time this bird's nest coral was seen, for instance, was in the 1960s. But conserving the eastern reefs could be a lifeline for the coral population. That's according to new research that found genetic links among 10 reef sites studied. Recruitment um, and establishment of, uh, of corals actually follows this east to west uh, flows. When corals release their eggs and sperm, these are taken by prevailing uh, currents from Kusu Island to these other reefs. Researchers suggest expanding the Sisters Islands Marine Park so reefs like Kusu Islands get the same protection. This means banning activities like fishing and mooring boats that can add to coral stress. Other solutions that can be applied around the region include using silt screens like this to reduce runoff during construction. Experts warn of a trickle-down effect on human health if it isn't curbed. Sediment runoff can contain heavy metals and toxic pollutants. These pollutants can then be ingested by animals and then reach humans through the seafood. Studies to trace the exact source of sediment samples to shape mitigation strategies will be completed at the end of the year.